What's happening everybody? It's Chris with Lone Wolf DIY. Today I'm gonna be helping out my buddy Conan down in Florida. He's got a really massive awesome house that he just picked up. However, whatever dude that owned this before, just like every other homeowner's worst nightmare, this guy was just obsessed with one thing or the other. And this guy's obsession was security. So he's got all kinds of weird connections and rat nests all over the place, but they're not just cat five or six. It's like some kind of weird telephone connection of all these weird cables and stuff so I'm really hoping that we can help him sort all those things out by being able to just use a very simple UDM Pro and switch setup so he can use his augmented reality and know where all those cables are going all throughout that giant house let's get into design center shall we All right, so let's get this show on the road. We're gonna start as usual with our design center. Now what's really unique about this experience is the fact that I'm not gonna be anywhere near Florida. As much as I wanna go down there and go to Disney World and get COVID and all that stuff with Mickey Mouse, I can't do that. So I'm gonna be doing this entire deployment right here from my tiny house in the trashy, rusty, hot desert of Tucson, Arizona. It really is trashy here. <laughs> anyway, can you guys see that product placement okay? Okay, so let's go. We have Sir Arthur. Florida Conan Doyle. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. I think that's funny. So building location, Florida. Okay, so we're gonna go with the value menu. <laughs> I hope I'm not like all giggly. That's super fucking lame. So Florida, USA. Is there a Florida anywhere else? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this part isn't even funny. What is there, acid in here? Look everybody, I am drinking Hop Avenger IPA from Voodoo Ranger. Something in there giving me stupid laughing fits. I'm not sure whether to choose home or office for this one because it's, the house is so gigantic, but let's just go ahead and stick with home. Let's just, uh, on the safe side, let's just say 2,000 to 5,000 square feet. That way we get him the equipment that he needs. I always believe in overbuilding and making sure that you have enough for what you need for your project and you have to go back to it later and then, you know. Okay, less than 100 clients, I'm sure. So everybody that's connecting to that network, whether it be cell phone or devices or TVs or anything that needs some Wi-Fi connection, I believe you'd probably use under 100 uh, people or clients or connections. Okay, so now we're just gonna add our new floor plan and we will just say this is the main floor. Upload our floor plan. It's a single story house, so that'll make it easy. And here we go. And there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and create our add floor plan layer. And we can go down to this little device here and we can flip this around and it'll give us a much better view of what's going on. Awesome, so I've got everything loaded up in the design center. Now what I'm trying to do is set up your floor plan scale, like even your one of your PC office areas, if you can just measure one wall, that will give me complete scale. Okay, cool, I can do that. 10 foot 10 inches. Roughly. From this to this. Okay. Say feet, okay. And it, what this does is it's just going to really help us to identify like the spaces you're not going to be able to get your Wi-Fi radiuses. So it's it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, but I'm filling in all these little walls. I just hope it's accurate. Right there in that kind of second walk-in closet, the one that's more south. Yes. That's where the uh, previous owner had the security system connections. I did not. That's where I think we're going to, for at least for today, I think that's where, where we're going to place the second AP. Okay. Uh, just let me know when you get that email. I sent it to you. Uh, yeah. So let me see if you can actually see this part. On the bottom right hand of Design Center, there's three little slide. Yeah. deals if you click on that and you go to 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz it gives you that radius of those APs I see it and you can click and drag it around and see how that signal is going to be affected by the walls or windows or whatever you got okay and then most of your devices are going to run off the 2.4 um, but what's really cool about ubiquity stuff is it automatically 
will go between the two, whatever's going to work best for your network. So essentially, this is the UDM. This is the AP, AP that would be attached to the UDM, which if I have it here, it'll cover my office in 24. With five gigahertz, it looks like it's a lot less coverage, but it still some. Um, the five gigahertz uh, is just, it's a lot more data in a compact space, but a lot of devices don't use the five gigahertz. Okay. This is how it would be as of like today's setup. So it, it looks like, like this is a garage. So, you know, there's, there's an upstairs room, which might lose some internet connectivity in this area. It oh. looks like. Okay. Um, is that then, along the lines of that upper bedroom up those stairs too? Exactly. That, uh, that, that is the upper bedroom and then below it is the garage. Later on, if you decide that you want more connectivity, you just order another AP and plug it in. So right, you, can, you can always just start with like a basic setup and then just uh, order as you need. All right, cool. Um, yeah, because probably what I'd want to do is cover these two rooms more solidly. Okay. Uh, probably be, you know, like out here or something like that. Then another one that covers this office and upstairs. So probably would be like around there. And then here, and then this is the outside area. So we probably put one in, you know, under the porch outside. So we kind of have full coverage. Now, now I was gonna ask, do you have any kind of, are you guys doing anything outside? Do you have a pool or a barbecue or anything out back? Yeah, we got a pool here. You might later on want to consider one of their exterior APs. If you have like TVs outside, you know, hooking up music or something like that. I have one in my backyard and it's uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to do something like that. Right. Um, so I think at this point, I don't even think you need me at this point. You don't need your ISP, the Comcast guy, or any of that shit, dude. Once you got this set up, if you need to add something, you just plug it in and adopt it. Everything's on your laptop. If you need to move, like you buy another house or something, you just unplug it from the wall, plug it into the new spot, get your ethernet plugged in for your broadband, and you're, you're good to go, man. Make sure you get those security cameras set up, man. I'm worried there's gonna be like alligators or crocodiles in your pool. So when you're running out there early in the morning or late at night and you're just doing one of them swan dives right into a crocodile's mouth, that, that would be a little bit scary. <laughs> So if you need my help with anything, man, please give me a call back. But if you are not able to get a hold of me or whatever, you want to try to figure it out for yourself, you can always just go to Ubiquity's website or even check out their YouTube channel. Or you can scan one of those UPCs and it gives you all the information you need, tutorials and links to videos, just in case you need that help. Okay, cool. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks so much. And then give me a call if you need anything else. Sounds good. All right, man. Bye. We'll talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. What a nice handsome guy Conan is, right? How nice of him to take some time out of the day so that I could help him use his design center, even though he didn't even need me. I could do it myself, he could do it himself, and you can do it yourself, absolutely. Just go ahead and start an account and you could do it for free. You can get on there and mock up your house and everything before you even buy any Ubiquity stuff. So next week, we're gonna be getting back together with Conan and see how he's doing with his design center and see if we can get all that stuff deployed for him because I am looking forward to him being able to use a really cool Wi-Fi connection and security cameras and whatever else he wants to add to that. It's really fun being able to see people take over their own network and do all their own shit themselves. Feed your com local Comcast employee to the alligators down there in Florida, Conan. And helicopter scene. I could film my own Vietnam movie with how many helicopters fly over here every day. So here's my two boards that I came up with and I am looking forward to showing the guys at Harbottle the yeah. So these are the wicked cool flight boards that I've been working on and I'm really stoked to bring this in and not only show them because I'm always excited to see what people think of these projects, but I also want to do one of their 10 flights that they promised me. You guys promised you give me 10 beers. So I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to use this as my bargaining chip to get 10 beers. I'm going to put this on the desk right there. I'm going to be like, hey, Harbottle guys, um, let's uh, let's get a 10, 10 in there and see how they fit. Want to make sure it's going to handle the weight. So make sure you fill all those up to the uh, appropriate sample size. But these are going to be cool. I'm going to drill out 10 holes on each one of these and I'm going to make it all nice and smooth. I'm going to put some little handles on there and everything, but boy, these are heavy. These are not going to be like some piece of shit that you bought off of Amazon or something that you got out of China Alibaba. 
So please everybody come back, like and subscribe and hit that notification thing in the corner so you can come check out my handsome man Conan and also check out on my flight boards and see what the Harbottle guys think. Are they gonna like it? Are they gonna tell me it sucks? Who knows? You gotta come back and see. And if you'd like to see some other epoxy projects or maybe see some of my epoxy pour videos so you can see the colors and the techniques and all that fun stuff, make sure to check out some of my other videos or even look at my Instagram where I do all kinds of goofy, stupid shit all day long. I try to be interesting, everybody. I, uh, there's a lot of stuff you could watch out there and you chose to hang out with me. So I appreciate that. You're beautiful and I love you and uh, I'll see you later. So make sure to come back. Thanks for checking out the channel and have a nice day. And scene. All right, sorry, I'm wasting everybody's fucking fucking time here. Is this still recording?